Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, hey guys. So, first thing I'm going to mention, because many of you probably already noticed it, my nails are not painted. I know. I feel completely naked. <laughs> but, um, no, I'm just kidding. But I, it, it is weird. It's weird for me. Um, but I needed to give them a break, so, uh, yeah. That's why. Okay, great. That's out of the way. So, welcome to a brand new reading that I, um, actually, uh, okay, so somebody left a comment a while ago talking about, um, wanting, uh, suggesting that I do readings for, career readings for the Divine Feminine, and I think also, I think they just said the Divine Feminine, but obviously I would take that as for both, the whole collective, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. And so, um... Today, I got the inspiration to do so, and so that's what we're doing here. So, But this is not necessarily a career reading. This is a um, spiritual mission check-in, yeah? So this is uh, information or just a reading on, you know, where are we on our spiritual missions? Um, this really doesn't, is, the focus is not on love here, okay? The focus is on um, what we're providing to the world around us, how we're being of service, how we are serving ourselves and spirit, um, you know, how we are, uh, where we are in, you know, in terms of our soul contracts with the things that we're supposed to be doing here on earth, other than coming into union with our twin, right? <laughs> okay, great. Um, um, so I am going to be doing this for the Divine Feminine and then for the Divine Masculine also. So there will be two, there are two videos. Um, and I'm going to be do this, doing this in the mirror format. So uh, I have two decks. I'm using the Arcanum deck for and, and the Golden U Universal Tarot. The Arcanum deck is going to be symbolizing where we currently are. It's going to be speaking to the current energies um, of where we are in our spiritual missions. The Golden Universal Tarot is going to be symbolizing or going to be speaking to future energies, what we are attracting, what we are manifesting. Now, I am not a fortune teller, okay? I am not someone that wants to read the cards and tell you exactly what's going to happen to you in the future. Doesn't work that way, okay? I'm not a fortune teller because I, I understand that, number one, we have free will, but number two... Anything can change in a split second, like in an instant, okay? So, this is not supposed to be 100%. This is absolutely going to happen. This is what we are currently manifesting, what we are currently attracting from our current standpoint, yeah? And then I'm going to be getting some Oracle Guidance. For the Divine Feminine, I'll be getting Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck, and then um, doing some Oracle Guidance from the Lightworker Oracle. And then for the Divine Masculine, I'm sticking with the Oracle of Unicorns, and then also the Lightworker. Yeah? All right, guys. So enough of me rambling on. Why don't we get into this? Yeah? Woo! <laughs> All right, Divine Masculine. Let's get into this, shall we? Excellent. All right, everybody, just settle in. Let's take a deep breath. Let's all just connect. And let's get started. Hey, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for the Divine Masculine Collective. Please show us where the Divine Masculine is in relation to their spiritual path, their soul mission. Please help us understand the energies that the Divine Masculine currently is in, represented by the deck on the left. And what can we look forward to? Or what can the Divine Masculine look forward to manifesting? What are they moving towards? What is coming up in their... Um, Incoming or upcoming energies. This is represented by the deck on the right. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so <clears throat> Divine Masculines out there, please keep in mind that this is, in fact, a general reading, okay? So if you would like to reach out for um, a personal reading, I encourage you to do so, all right? Uh, and the Divine is... is, uh, is eagerly um, pushing me to tell you that reaching out for help, reaching out for guidance is not weak, is not weak in any way, okay? 
um, knowing that you need help and reaching out for that help is actually a form of strength. All right, Divine Masculine? Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we've got I'm shuffling up your current energies here when it comes to your divine path, your spiritual mission. Where are you currently? Now, I can already tell that this is probably going to be a little heavy. Um, you know, the Divine Masculine, you're really going through it right now. There are a lot of changes happening for you. Um, I am already seeing the tower. Um, and it's funny because I was seeing the tower for the uh, last weekly video that I put out. Um, and that's the kind of situation that the Divine Masculine is in right now. You know, there are a lot of changes that need to be made. There are not a lot of foundations uh, and structures that have been built that are not serving you, no longer serving you, and are not serving your highest good or your soul mission anymore. Okay, so that's why they would be being uh, deconstructed. Yeah. All right. Last shuffle for your current energies. Okay. And let's cut the deck here. Oops. All right. So we've got your current energy set. Let's get into your future energies. Yeah. Now, guys, keep in mind, I'm not a fortune teller. Okay. So I am, I am wording this as future energies and current energies. But when it comes to the future, please understand that things can change in an instant. Okay. This is why I do not sell or tout myself as a fortune teller. I am here to help you understand the current energies and how you can make a decision um, uh, to, to, to move forward in a better way, I guess you can say. Give you the insight that you need to the current energies um, so that you can make the best choice for yourself moving forward, all right? So we're shuffling up your future energies, what you can expect, what you are manifesting, what you're moving towards, okay? Now, in channeling your energies, Divine Masculine, I am also seeing green, which is, to me, is saying, is talking about healing. And I'm also seeing red. And red is exactly your energy. Red is the root chakra. Um, as masculine energies, you are very much focused on the physical, uh, in the manifestation, in the action doing. Now, the action is more of a yellow color, but because I'm seeing red, I'm seeing that you're doing a lot of integration um, physically, and you're doing a lot of healing. Okay, with the green color I'm seeing, right? Okay, we've got a flyer. Hey, Divine Masculine, we've got the sun. Everything is going to be... Oh, oh, wait, that's so bright. There we go. Everything is going to be okay, all right? So we already have the sun here, so no matter what comes out, you're good, okay? We've got the Queen of Swords, and we... Oh, wow, okay, and we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So, you are very much getting into your divine feminine, or you're just your feminine energies, okay? Uh, and this is something that's been going on for you for some time. Now, the Queen of Swords is, like, is Queen Bee, okay? She's not about the drama. So you're very much in a, in a place where you're cutting out the drama, and that is exactly in line with your spiritual mission. You have, for a long time, have been subject to the will of others, even though you've been trying to play the masculine or the man role in that you're in control of your life, that's not quite, hasn't quite been the case, okay? And so now with feminine energies coming forward, you are realizing that you don't want drama and that you want greater control over your own life. And so you're enacting it, putting it into place with the queen of swords. So you're probably cutting a lot of things out, people, places, uh, experiences that you no longer want to want to experience. Um, social settings, I'm getting. Um, familial settings also. Um, and that's also coming through with the Queen of Pentacles here. But um, just superfluous things that no longer really serve you. And you're not doing it in a malicious way. Again, because the Queen of Swords is not about the drama. She's just going to cut it out and move on. She's not going to fight about it. She's not going to argue about it. Nothing. It's just, it's done. This does not serve me. Bye. <laughs> okay, and you've got the Queen of Pentacles. All right, this is you coming in. This is you grounding your feminine energy. Is what I'm really getting here with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, being practical about it. Yes, emotions are at play here, but that doesn't mean you can't still be logical. And that came through in the Divine Feminine reading too. With the Divine Feminine 
kings came out, the king of swords and the king of pentacles. So we already have some mirroring here, guys. Now, these are flyers, but at the same time, we also have mirroring, okay? Because you're dealing with your feminine energies. The divine feminine is dealing with her masculine energies, all right? So you're also getting into the family mode here. So there are many of you out there who are of the divine masculine collective who have not really been willing to or ready to settle down. And now with the Queen of Pentacles here, you're getting into that energy. You're integrating that energy. You're finding out what settling down really means for you, especially with the Queen of Swords here, all right? And with all of that, you've got the sun. So everything is Gucci, boo. You Gucci, Prada, and Fendi, honey. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm being silly. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle this up just a few more times here, and then we're going to get into your current energies. This deck are your, is your future energy. Future, future, yeah. Two more shuffles. For the Divine Masculine. And honestly, in connecting with your energies, guys, I'm really seeing red. So you are probably doing a lot of work with your root chakra right now, which is exact. Oh, boy. We have, we have more flyers here. We've got the King of Swords. All right. So the Divine Feminine also got the King of Swords. More mirroring, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this mirroring is between you and the Divine Feminine. The other mirroring that we're going to get to, because this is set up as a mirror reading, that's just going to be your personal mirroring, okay? We've got the King of Swords, and with that, we have the Lovers in reverse. The Lovers is about choices. It's also about deep soul soulmate connections, divine partnerships, but it's also mainly about choices, okay? This Lovers is in reverse, and... Your best friend, Divine Masculine, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles. This is also in reverse. So with the King of Swords energy in between both of these, you are very much seeing the truth. You are seeing the choices that you have made that have not been, that have not resonated with you, that have not been for your highest good. Ultimately, it was for your highest good because you learned from it, okay? You did learn from it because you have the King of Swords and the King of Swords is upright, OK, but then also um, these were choices that ultimately did not serve your authenticity. And that is everything that the King of Swords is about. Authenticity, truth. OK, also diplomacy. Now, with the Knight of Swords in reverse here, you're seeing how your lack of movement, your stagnation has been a disservice to you. Ultimately, I, I just saw 9-11 on the counter, by the way. Ultimately, it was in service of you, just like the queen, I'm sorry, just like the lovers here. Ultimately, it did serve you because it taught you something, which is great. And there's another card that wants to come out underneath the lovers. Boop! Death. And death is upright. Look at that, guys. Change. Transformation. This is great. You are transforming into the person, the man or woman, who, whatever you are gender-wise, I'm still speaking to the masculine energies here. You're transforming into the being that you truly are with the king of swords and death. Excellent, divine masculine. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, we're going to shuffle again. <laughs> this time I'm just going to give it two shuffles. One. And two. Excellent, divine masculine. Here we go. We're cutting the deck. One, two, three. Oof. All right. So, Divine Masculine, let's get into your current energies now, yeah? All right. Overall, in your current energies, we've got the Hanged Man. So you're very much in a period of social isolation, is literally what I just heard, okay? Okay. Uh, this is a good thing, ultimately, Divine Masculine, because it's this social setting that has been the influence around you. Now, social can can mean f family, okay? Um, social is just when the when when the universe and when the universe says social, they mean just the people you surround you with, the people that you um, interact with, okay? But you're isolating yourself from them, and that's a good thing because you need time to really get in touch with you because all of this social shit around you has been influencing you, has, I'm hearing, been taking your power away. And so now in trying to regain that power in this transformative space that you're in, which just came through with, the, with death, you need some time to identify yourself outside of all this superfluous energy. 
we've got the Knight of Wands here. And a lot of the time, people see the Knight of Wands as um, a player, someone that's in and out, someone that is here one day and is ne is gone in, like in a flash once their desires have been fulfilled. But that's not what I'm seeing here for you, Divine Masculine, in relation to this reading. This can also be seen as the spiritual warrior. And you are starting to accept and integrate that energy in this current moment, which is even more of a reason why you need to be in this hanged man state. Okay? The hanged man is also all about um, uh, self-imposed isolation or suspension in order to see things differently, in order to reach enlightenment. And you've got the four of pentacles. Okay. Okay. So what I'm getting with the Four of Pentacles is that you're identifying what you've been holding on to. You're looking at what you've been holding on to. And also, you could very very much be holding on to your relationship with your Divine Feminine, even if you are not in communication with her. Even, and when I say him or her, I'm speaking of energies, not gender, okay? But even if you're not in communication with her, even if things seem like they're never going to get better, like you could never approach her ever again, that's not the case. Okay, and you're still kind of holding on to it. And that's a good thing because if you're going to hold on to anything, hold on to the things that serve you. Hold on to the things that resonate with your authenticity, with that King of Swords that popped out, right? So in this self-imposed isolation, you're still holding on. And bam, Divine Masculine, in this current moment, you've got strength. But you also have abundance, because strength in the major arcana is the eighth card, and eight is all about abundance. So the universe is coming forward. Not only are you realizing your own strength, okay, which is being reflected or which is being shown to you by the strength within your divine feminine, but um, the universe is also coming forward saying, you've got all of my abundance at your disposal, divine masculine. All you have to do is tap into it. Yeah? All right. Let's get into your storyline here. For your current energies, we're starting with judgment in reverse. Okay. Coupled with, there's death again in reverse. So currently, Divine Masculine, you are dealing, <laughs> dealing with the fact that the universe has been calling for you to transform for some time now. For some time. And you've been resisting. Okay, this is your current focus. This is a big part of your current focus. I'm not saying that you're resisting this anymore. You might be. There may still be quite a few challenges that you have to face in order to really go through this transformation completely, but you're analyzing this right now. And also, you may be feeling like you'll never have a second chance and you can never change. You are very wrong about that, Divine Masculine. Why? Because you've got strength upright on the bottom of the deck. Okay? Excellent. Moving forward, we have temperance. Very good, Divine Masculine. This talks about patience. Also talk, can talk about divine timing. But this is also about balance. Integrating your, all of your pieces, really, but integrating your opposing pieces. So light, dark, good, bad. Yes? And coming to terms with those, understanding that you can't have the light without the dark and vice versa, yeah? Temperance. Oh, also, Temperance is a twin flame card, guys. So if you have been questioning whether or not you're actually a twin flame, and this could very well be because you are doubting yourself because you're of your actions in the past, again, the universe is saying, you are wrong about that, sir, <laughs> because you are, in fact, a twin flame, yes? No, regard your past does not define you, Divine Masculine. Ultimately, your path has passed, and your path is, is a great way of saying it, but your past has helped you learn about yourself and about the nature of others. Okay, this is what temperance is saying to you. Temperance is coupled with <clears throat> mm -hmm, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so temperance is helping you balance your um, feminine energies and integrate your feminine energies into your physical reality because you have been at odds with them for quite a while. All right. And here's, here you go. The queen of pentacles is coming out again, but here, this is very positive because yes, here it is reversed. And then the first time it came out, it was upright, but 
Coupled with temperance, this is saying that you are balancing, you are grounding your feminine energies. And that is excellent, Divine Masculine. That is excellent. Moving forward, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so the big thing that's going on with you right now is understanding the balance between give and take. You could very well be, um, if, since you're analyzing, you know, this call to judgment um, that uh, is here. You're also looking at how your relationships in the past have been imbalanced, how you've been giving and giving and overgiving and, and being Superman for the people around you. And it's just been draining you. It hasn't been balanced because in you trying to be Superman for them, what are you getting in return other than some minor accolades, right? Six of Pentacles in reverse is coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. And what is this helping you do? Manifest a brand new beginning. One that is way more solid, Divine Masculine. I mean, that's just so amazing. That's so amazing, Divine Masculine. All right. Finally, in your current energies, you have... All right! The Ace of Cups. So you're working on this. You want this. You want a brand new emotional start. And please understand, that doesn't necessarily mean with your divine feminine. Of course, it can mean with your divine feminine. But in your current energies, you're more focused on having a new emotional reality. You're more focused on integrating and connecting with your, with your emotions, with your feelings. Not feeling like you're less of a man or less of a masculine energy because you're in touch with your emotions and your feelings. Not feeling like you're less of a man or less of a masculine energy because you have a, a unconditional self-love. And that's also what the Ace of Cups talks about. Self-love. And especially when it comes to the twin flame journey, this is unconditional self-love. Because you cannot love someone else, like say your Divine Feminine for starters, she loves you unconditionally, Divine Masculine. And she is able to love you unconditionally because she has already come into or is in the process of coming into a state of unconditional love for herself. So obviously, if you want to share this with her, you're going to have to unconditionally love yourself, right? Ace of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Cups. Walking away from things that no longer serve you. Why? So you can have this new emotional beginning. Mostly with yourself. It has to start with the self first, Divine Masculine. I'm picking up energies of leaving un, um, um, codependent relationships behind in favor of yourself. And that is excellent. There is one more message that was coming through with judgment in reverse and death in reverse. Part of what you feel like is blocking you from doing, from making this transformation is the fact that you feel like you can never have a second chance with your divine feminine. So in a sense, that's, that may be a blockage to your transformation. But please understand that judgment is still here. There is a rebirth, there is a renewal, there is a second chance at hand. But you have to go through the transformation, Divine Masculine. And the best way to get through that transformation is to believe that you are worthy of it. Your past does not and will never define you. All right? Okay, let's get into your future energies now. Starting you off, hey, hey now, we've got the Six of Cups. So you're already starting with a really great energy. You got a soulmate. You got a soulmate standing right in front of you, Divine Masculine. And this is why, and this is not just a typical soulmate, this is a divine partner. This is your divine twin flame, okay? So this is another reason why this judgment is here, this second chance is here, okay? Now, the Six of Cups is also talking about healing childhood wounds. Feel, you could, in your, so upcoming for you, you're probably going to be pretty nostalgic. And that might be difficult, it might be difficult because there are, there, there are going to be things that have come up from your past, from your childhood, and from all these things that you're walk, currently walking away from that you're going to miss. But ultimately, these, these, these memories, this nostalgia needs to be tempered 
with temperance and the understanding that these things no longer served you. So you can hold on to the beautiful and the good and the fun memories, but understand that you are moving forward towards something that is way more fulfilling for you. Okay, Divine Masculine? All right. So also you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. And that's mainly because of your fear that you'll never be able to, uh, I don't know, own up to your place within the Divine Masculine Collective. You also have the Seven of Cups in reverse, okay? Followed by, ooh, there's that mirroring, the Four of Pentacles. So your overall energy moving forward, you're still holding on to your Divine Feminine. You're holding on to this soulmate, this deep soulmate connection that you know is there. You're probably not going to make any big offers, okay, with the Knight of Cups. But this is mainly because you feel like you can't. Because you feel like you've messed things up too much. Honey, you're so wrong about that. Look, people make mistakes, Divine Masculine. The Divine Feminine has made mistakes, hasn't she? She's done some things where you're like, oh, no, I can't not. Yeah, the Divine Feminine has done that. But she's still here. And she still loves you. So you don't have to worry about that. Just do your healing. That's all. Okay? And you've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. So this is the release of illusion. You might, you might feel like you're trapped in illusion. But this is mainly because you're releasing it. Okay, because and, and you're becoming aware. That's what's really coming through with the seven of cups in reverse. You're really just becoming aware of the illusions around you. Which could also be why you feel like you can't make an offer of love. Now, also, <clears throat> also with the knight of cups, I really feel like you are moving forward, or I'm sorry, well, yes, you're moving forward with not really sending out any more cups of love because you know where your true love lies. All right. Excellent. Now, I want to go back to your current energies. When it comes to your spiritual path, Divine Masculine, this is very much what you're going through, what you're experiencing right now is very much in alignment with your soul mission, with your spiritual path, with your service to the world. Because in you making this transformation, you are actively teaching others. Whereas the Divine Feminine is out there spreading knowledge, you are showing and teaching by example. And your example is your personal life and the people that are connected to you. Your, your, your social circle here. That was brought up with the hanged man. You isolating yourself from people is going to be a, a, a serious wake-up call for them. It really is. All right, moving forward with your future energies, we have the Nine of Wands. So just keep swimming. This is my just keep swimming card. This is the wounded warrior, battered and bruised, but still fighting on, okay? Nine of Wands is coupled with the Ten of Cups. Why are you battling on? Because you are moving towards your ultimate emotional fulfillment, okay? You've got the Ace of Cups in your current energy. So you're walking away. And in walking away, you're gonna have to fight a bit. You're going to have to fight the judgment of others. You're going to have to fight the opinions of others. You're going to have to fight with people not wanting you to disconnect from them, not wanting you to take your gifts away from them. But ultimately, if they do not serve you, then you got to take care of number one. And number one is who? You. Right? And that's exactly what's being depicted here in the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups. You are loving yourself. You are in a position where you're starting to love yourself unconditionally so you can walk away and you can defend yourself in moving towards what you know is going to be ultimately fulfilling for you. All right, moving forward, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so the Page of Pentacles in reverse is saying to me, this is a feeling of inadequacy, of you're just not enough. But in your upcoming energies, you're going to be working towards understanding and proving that you are, in fact, enough. Now, this does not necessarily mean that you have to prove to your defined feminine that you're enough. No, no, no. She is already very, very aware of that. 
but you may have to prove to others that you are enough. And so you're going to be working hard for that. Now, I want to temper that, and this is right under temperance, I want to temper that with the fact that you really don't have to prove anything to anybody. You really don't have to work all that hard to prove anything to anybody as long as you stay in your authenticity. Now, conversely, this is you leaving the Page of Pentacles state and working towards moving yourself up to the knight, to the queen, to the king, so that you can reside within the queen, queen and king energy. So you're doing the work to finally step out of this Page of Pentacles state. Excellent, Divine Masculine. Moving forward, we have Six of Wands. Look at that, victory. Recognition, Divine Masculine. And this is recognition for you finally standing up and being the person that you are, the authentic person that you are. Six of Wands is coupled with the Chariot in reverse. Now, this is recognition for moving in the direction that you ultimately always wanted to go in. Because in the past, you have very much been the chariot in reverse, Divine Masculine. You've been moving forward strongly and swiftly, but it wasn't authentic. It wasn't what you truly wanted. So now that you're switching things up, you're being recognized for the fact, and you're also recognizing that you weren't doing what was authentic to you. And now that you're accepting authenticity with that King of Swords that popped out, you're getting that recognition you deserve. That is rightfully yours. Yes? Finally, in your, in your uh, upcoming storyline, your future storyline, we have the Five of Wands. Conflict, chaos, yes. But these are opposing opinions of others. You could be facing some internal conflict, but I'm really seeing this as an external influence. And it makes perfect sense because you've got the Nine of Wands here. We were already talking about how, you know, you're going to have to fight against the opinions of others. It's not going to be easy, Divine Masculine. Now, granted, this is not Five of Swords energy, so it's not as malicious or destructive as the Five of Swords, but it's still challenging. It's frustrating, too. Yeah, I, can, I hear you. Yeah, you're damn right it's frustrating. But see, you are in a process of releasing the influence of the opinions of others. So yeah, that's going to be challenging, especially when you live all, if not most, of your life chasing after the opinion and the approval of others, okay? Five of Wands is coupled with the Knight of Wands. More mirroring. There you go, Divine Masculine, because you are stepping into your light worker status, because you are working, stepping into your spiritual warrior status. You are, in fact, going to have to deal with Opposing opinion and opposing views of the people around you. This could be family. This could be friends. I mean, this is everybody. All of the people that you have connect with and connected with over your life and given off a certain persona, you're going to have to change that. And that's going to be a bit of a struggle. But again, this is not Five of Swords energy. This is Five of Wands energy. Five of Wands energy is much less threatening than Five of Swords. So that's good. Okay, so in your current energies, you're stepping into your Knight of Wands, your uh, spiritual warrior, your, um, your light worker status. And moving forward in your, in your upcoming energies, you're continuing to stay in your spiritual warrior, light worker status. And that is excellent, Divine Masculine. Good own you, boo boo. All right, so let's get into your oracle cards. We're getting into the unicorns here. Three messages, yes. Three messages for the Divine Masculine in relation to his or her uh, spiritual mission. Where you currently stand. Um, advice, oracle guidance for you, the Divine Masculine. We'll give you one more shuffle. Yeah, the Knight of Cups here and the Seven of Cups here in your overall energy is definitely speaking to being kind of feeling stuck in the illusion that you can never approach your Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, that's just not the case. I mean, yeah, you still got to do some healing, but at the same time, 
You are divine partners. You are divine soulmates. You are divine twin flames. First message here is passion. All right. And you and that definitely came out with the two knights of wands here. So that's excellent. Two more messages, please, spirit. Two more messages. We've got beloved. Oh, yes, Divine Masculine, you absolutely are the beloved. All right, there's two. There, okay, so Divine Masculine, you've got four. The last two cards are leadership and balance. Booyah. Booyah, Divine Masculine. Masculine energy is very much leadership. Divine feminine is, and feminine energy is leadership too, but this is different, okay? This is leadership in the physical world. This is stepping into your true masculine energy, not twisted masculine energy, okay? So your first message is passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. So when it says increase your energy levels, that also translates for me into raising your vibration. So advice here is to really work on raising your vibration, changing your diet um, to more holistic foods, um, organic foods, no GMOs, no junk food, um, listening to your body. If there are things that you have been eating that are giving you digestive issues, change that. Okay, that is a great way to start raising your vibration. Um, meditation, uh, uh, letting go of addictions, uh, toxic substances, just being very aware of what you put in your body. Yes? Uh, the second card here is beloved. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. Please, Divine Masculine, believe that you are lovable. Okay? Your past does not and will never define you. Regardless of how many shitty things you may have done in your life. And this goes for the Divine Feminine too, but I'm talking to the Divine Masculine here. Regardless of how many shitty things you may have done, how many shitty things you may have experienced in your life, you are still worthy of divine love and divine partnership. You are still worthy to be a twin flame, number one, and of your twin flame. You are worthy to receive your twin flame. All right, Divine Masculine? You have to believe this. Leadership. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. So please do not be afraid to share your story. Please do not be afraid to speak up, Divine Masculine. Please do not be afraid to tell the truth because the truth ultimately will in fact set you free. Regardless of way how it may look initially and externally, regardless of how much chaos that may cause, ultimately that chaos needs to happen because there's some shit that needs to be ironed out, isn't there? <laughs> That's right, Divine Masculine. Finally, balance. Take time to relax. Indulge a little more or a little less. And for the Divine Masculine, I feel like you should probably indulge a little less or maybe just in some different ways. Okay, set boundaries with your work, but that doesn't just mean work. I'm hearing that's resonating on a much deeper levels, deeper level. Divine masculine, you have to set stronger boundaries. You have to stop letting people walk all over you. And I know that's a hard message to hear because nah, I'm no, I'm a man or I'm a masculine energy. Like I'm in control, not quite, or at least you haven't been, but you can take control. Set those boundaries, divine masculine. Yeah? And actually, you're mirroring the Divine Feminine, too, because when we when we were doing the Divine Feminine's um, future energies, all four of the twos, the Two of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups came out. The Two of Cups came out twice. That was really the only instance of actual mirroring in the spread, I believe, that came out. So that was a big message for the Divine Feminine to maintain balance at all costs. And so now that's coming out for you, too, Divine Masculine. Excellent. All right, so let's get into some oracle guidance from the uh, the Lightworker Oracle. And I'm already going to be asking for two messages, but the unicorns had more than what I asked for, so maybe the Lightworker will too. We'll see. But we're starting with two. All right. All right, spirit, best messages for the Divine Masculine. Two cards, please. There's one, 
and there's two. Okay, and I'm being guided to look at the bottom of the deck. So, okay, we've got Soul Child. That's card number 14. So that's another five. Okay, you had the um, Five of Wands come out. Okay, so there's that. The other card went flying <laughs> over here. We've got nine, no, card number 19, An Invitation to Connect. The Divine wants to connect with you, Divine Masculine. Finally, we have card number 37, The Heart Transmission. Oh, I mean, this is just, this is so beautiful, guys. Okay. I'm going to read from the book for these. But okay, so card number 19, an invitation to connect. And already I'm, I'm channeling a message here. You see how that man's crown chakra is open? And it looks like his whole, his whole skull is open. But that to me is speaking to the crown chakra and the uh, third eye chakra. Yes? So the divine is trying to activate your higher centers. And this is become and this is becoming apparent with you integrating with your feminine energies, right? Because the feminine energies of, are of the higher dimensions, um, the spiritual ethereal dimensions, and the masculine energies are of the material, right? So you're doing your integrative work with your root chakra to help open up your higher centers. Okay. So let's get into the specific message from the book here, card number nineteen. All right, an invitation to connect. Love exists throughout our universe. Many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exist in worlds beyond the earthly realm. Among these are those who are aware of the spiritual plight of humanity and are willing to be able to help us move forward. Unlike those who's, who close their minds because they fear the unknown, you have an open mind and an open, receptive heart. Beings from other worlds recognize you as a receptive channel for their unconditionally loving assistance in this world. You will both benefit from this individually and help the planet, so you are being offered an invitation to connect. Now, I already feel like many of you are like, what the hell are you talking about? I don't have an open heart. I don't have an open mind. Ah, but in spiritual truth, you do, Divine Masculine. And so what, that's why this card is coming forward. It's because these beings, the divine, sees this in you and wishes to help you. Wishes to connect with you so that they can help you open up even more. Okay? And by opening up to these things, even though, yes, you've been very much focused in conscious, um, I'm sorry, in um, material energy, material reality, it does not mean that as you expand or open your higher centers, you lose any of your manhood or your masculinity. No, no, no. You gain that much more. You gain way more than you could have ever imagined, Divine Masculine. Yes. Yes. Card number 14 now, Soul Child. Okay, I'm already picking up from Soul Child that um, many of you are starting to connect with the multi-dimensionality multi of your being and starting to realize that you probably are an indigo or a star seed or, you know, something like that, okay? You have connections with other solar systems, other universes, yes? You have soul family in other universes and all that stuff, right? Okay, great. So this card says, rebirth is upon you, beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for a new life, and it is starting right now. The divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a period of struggle, of intense inner work, and physical transformation, has arrived. Transformation, hello, death came out twice. Mm -hmm. Enjoy getting to know this new self. La, it is a new day, a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventurer enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the increase of your light, power, and love. Excellent. This is a really great reading, Divine Masculine. Okay, let's move on. Card. The last card here is card number 37, Heart Transmission. And look at that. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It boils down to 10. I thought it was... <laughs> sorry, I can't do math. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I thought that was an 11, but actually it's a 10, which is okay because 10 is a number of completions and endings. So a boop, a boop, boop. <laughs> All right. Card number 37, the heart transmission. 
Okay, so this is already talking about your heart chakra activations, your heart opening up to something new, a new way of life, a new way of seeing things, yeah? Your heart is capable of not only giving and receiving love, but of connecting you to a great network of beings that resonate in the highest frequencies of divine love. So this card is also connecting with the message of soul child, yes? Through your heart, you can receive information and guidance from networks of light that fill our universe. As you learn to open your heart to receiving these transmissions, your ability to work with group consciousness in a loving way increases. You shall affect humanity in a loving way, influencing the collective, rather than allowing the lower frequencies of the collective to overwhelm you. And bam, we were just talking about that, Divine Masculine, with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, right? Giving and giving and giving and being Superman for people that are not really giving back. Excellent. Excellent, Divine Masculine. This is fantastic. Good on ya. You're doing great, okay? Like I said in the, the, the weekly reading last week, the one that I just posted before this one, stop being so hard on yourself, okay? All right, there it is, guys. Much love to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. If you would like some specific guidance on your journey, please don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, Divine Masculine? Much love to you. Take care. Bye.